Hello everyone, welcome back to the Thomas Gallery. Today, we have <clears throat> a skull of one of the most popular pets there are around, especially for little girls. Girls seem to love this particular animal, even though they despise their relatives. <laughs> and I, tonight, today, I am talking about the rabbit. And the scientific name for rabbit is, see if I can pronounce this, Orocytoglis. Orocytoglis conoculus. It's an odd name. Anyway, the rabbit. And for this particular, this particular uh, specimen, I was using, I'm using the skull of the European rabbit. There are different kinds of, there are different types of rabbits all over the world, all over. <coughs> and... They are very, very popular, even though, even though the rabbit, as popular as it is, is related to one of, if not, if not the most despised animals in the world, and that is a rodent, the rat or a mouse. You find a mouse in your house or a rat or whatever, most likely people will freak out. However... No one seems to have an issue with their cousin, the rabbit, being in the house. Because, yes, rabbits are rodents. Rabbits are related to rats and mice. Also, porcupines and capybaras, or all, all that stuff, they're related. Believe it or not. And if I'm not mistaken, a beaver is also part of the rodent family. So, the good, a good question would be is, how come people love one, one member of the family but not the others? People love rabbits. Love rabbits. I mean, of course, there are some people who don't like rabbits, but the general consensus is that rabbits are much more, much more appreciated, much more loved in everyday society than their cousins, the uh, rat, uh, the rat, or you know, a mouse. That depends on the mouse. Some people don't. People, some people don't like mice. Some people use mice for lab, laboratory experiments. Some people just you know feed mice to, I mean feed mice to snakes and stuff. You know. Shoot, the only rat that I know that is beloved by most is Splinter, and also uh, Chucky, Chucky e. Cheese. I said the only rodents I know that are beloved is Master Splinter and Chucky from Chuck E. Cheese. That's it. Other than that, rats are hated. Rats are hated so much that they even they even have a term for a bird called a flying rat, the pigeon. They call birds, they call pigeons flying rats. That just shows you how much rodents are seen and depicted in everyday society. However, when it comes to the rabbit, another form, another rodent, it gets a pass. Not quite sure why. Even if you were to tell them that this animal is related, is actually a rodent. Even if you were to tell like you know, you're like you know, this this animal is a, is a rodent, right? A rodent, right? This, this is actually you know related to the rat. Even if you tell them that, people still like, well, I don't care. It's just so you know, so cute. So I'm trying to figure out what is it about the rabbit that keeps it safe? What is it about the rabbit that keeps it safe? Is it the ears? Is it the way it? Moves its nose when it's just sitting around. Is it, you know, do the cartoons, you know, Bugs Bunny. Mm, what's up, Doc? Stuff like that. You know, rabbits are, you know, Peter Cottontail. I mean, people make, people make stories about how much they love rabbits. 
Peter Cottontail, Bugs Bunny. Oh, and the only other rodent that I know of that isn't a rat that isn't a rabbit that is beloved by more people by more than anybody is Mickey Mouse. Mickey Mouse and Bugs Bunny are actually cousins. If you wanna if you wanna get scientific and anatomical about it, Mickey Mouse and Bugs Bunny are cousins. Also, the beaver from Winnie the Pooh is a cousin of Mickey Mouse, Bugs Bunny, and Chuck E. Cheese. Also, squirrels are rodents. Squirrels are rodents. So, uh, Rocky the flying squirrel from Bullwinkle is, is cousins to Mickey Mouse, Chuck E. Cheese, Master Splinter, the beaver from Winnie the Pooh, like they they're all related. They're all rodents. So I guess we're we're people. Human beings are very selective about which animal we give love to. <clears throat> we only we only we only give. Actually, I, I did an experiment about this like years ago. I said that we only like. The animals that we that we that we love that we, that we think are cute, only cute animals get nicknames. Only cute animals get nicknames. Like a rabbit is considered cute, so people call it a bunny. Horses can be cute, so people say horsey. You know. Kids say doggy. They say Kitty, even though the word is kitten. Right? Those are cute animals. However, there is no cute animal, I mean, there's no cute nickname for a snake. There's no cute animal for a snake. There's no cute there's no cute name for a pigeon. Right? So, how many animals do we, how many animals do we, do we think of that we consider cute and we give them nicknames, we give them cute nicknames, like, let's see, like I said, a rabbit is a bunny, because there is no scientific term, <laughs> bunny is not a scientific term, bunny is not a scientific term for a rabbit. You you actually can look up names like other names or alternative names for animals. You can look it up, and I bet you that you will find bunny as an alternative name for a rabbit, even though it's not a scientific name. Because <coughs> the way it works, usually when you know, you have you have a scientific name, do you have a what they call a common name. Like, a pigeon has a common name. I mean, a pigeon has a scientific name. A scientific name for a pigeon is called a rock dove. Called a rock dove. A dove, like a white dove, and the pigeons are actually related. However, you don't, when you think about a pigeon and a dove, you do not think about the same thing. You think of it like two different animals. They're related. They're closely related. You can look at them, you tell they're closely related. But when you say what's a scientific name for a rock dove, they won't know. But if you if you show to yourself, oh, it's a pigeon, even though it has another name, it's called a rock dove. Then you have what's called a, a morning dove, m o m o u r n i n g, morning dove. Then you have the white dove. The, a rock dove is a pigeon. The morning dove is like the ones you see that like kind of like a light brown type type of color. You see those a lot.
Mm-hmm. This actually was pretty short because you know, rappers got small heads. But anyway, this is pretty short. Pretty short one right here. Pretty easy one right here. Alright, so that is done now. So, see, today, 11, 17, 20, 17, and something. Alright, here you have it, ladies and gentlemen. The rabbit, or, you know, more specifically, the European rabbit. Thank you all for watching this video. Leave a comment down below. Like, comment, subscribe, and share, and I will catch you all later. Peace.